thing about myself is I'm a very competitive person. Failure is not an option. Having a lot of the bad things happen to me, you know, putting me into the hospital and learning from that, I started reflecting back and saying, you know what, I got into this industry to be healthy. I want to get myself into the best shape of my life, not only for my age, for any age, to get myself ripped up like I did in a competition. I need to step forward. By being humble, by being passionate, inspiring nutrition, it's the sky's the limit. Hi, this is Rich Gaspari, and here's my good friend and Gaspari athlete, Flex Lewis. What I train basically on my day one is a push-pull system. I do chest and back. Push-pull, basically pushing with chest, pulling with back. Uh, what you're doing is you're not really exhausting the muscle. When you're doing the chest, you're exhausting chest, but then your, your back is still fresh enough to be able to train. With work, with travel, I couldn't train six days a week. I could train four days a week and still get myself in top shape. What do you think, Flex? Being on the road with Rich, time is of the essence. So we've done the push-pull system, as Rich said, and, and it shocked me. Uh, the old school tactics uh, have, have been really beneficial in my, in my workouts. If you really want to concentrate, say, on your back, or you want to concentrate just on your chest, I would train them on their own, definitely in off-season. So this is something with time constraint, where you want to get in shape really quick, this is the workout to do. So let's get started. What I start with usually is I warm up with chin assists. Basically, it's gonna warm up the back. This is really good for getting your back nice and wide. By using the chin assist, you're gonna be able to really concentrate on squeezing the lat muscles. I love doing this exercise, like I said, because it assists me, and I can do it actually intentionally slower and concentrate on contraction and extension. From this exercise, we're gonna go directly into incline dumbbell press. So that's gonna be a heavy exercise to work the bulk of the chest. He's already getting a good pump. Okay, let's go to the next exercise. I'm gonna go on to incline dumbbell press. Basically now we're hitting the upper part of the chest after hitting the back. What's very important is that you stick your chest out so that you're contracting more the pec muscle instead of using your arms. We're going fairly light. We can go a lot heavier on this exercise. The thing about this workout, you don't have to handle a lot of heavy weight. As you can see, Flex's bench here, I prefer it a lot more inclines. You can have it at different angles. This one's slightly more inclined than normal. I feel it hits the upper chest more. Let's go to the next exercises. This is a tricep. It's a really a fast-paced workout. You're doing this boom, boom, boom. So it's almost like cardio with using weights. Now, Flex is using you know, more weights. You can go heavier with this. As long as you're getting the feel, he's doing it really slow, squeezing it at the top, or slowing down, stopping, and then coming, and then squeezing it. It's working total lats. With this exercise, the cable pullover, what, he's, what Flex is doing, He's actually stretching out the lats. Then he's coming at the top. He's actually squeezing his pelvis forward and contracting the lats. So this is a great width exercise. This is something that's gonna get your back really, really wide. Right over into the incline dumbbell. We brought the incline slightly lower, slightly different angle. Working now the chest. You now the thing about the uh, pull push or push pull you can actually go heavy because that muscle is not fatigued. I mean, your back was fatigued. Now the blood's going into his chest now. What I'm going to concentrate now is I'm going to go to chest first, the pushing movements, which I'm going to do a, a decline fly with cable. Then I'm going to go directly to a low row and then directly to a T-bar row. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm concentrating on the flies to contract the chest the lower part of my chest, and then I'm doing heavier movements 
for the mid part of my back. We did a lot of lat movements on the last couple exercises. This is for more thickness in the back. So let's get started. Drive it up, drive it up, drive it up, squeeze. Good. Come on, stretch. And again. Good. Perfect way to describe Rich's body uh, composition is like he's sitting in a chair. And uh, if you can see, his body's like a 90 degree angle. As he's pulling back, his body's coming forward. He's squeezing the lats. Stretching at the very, very top of the exercise. Again. Come on. Two. Come on. Yep. Come on. All right. Not heavy weight. You make the weight heavy, and the muscle will grow. We're to the next set of exercises. This time it's gonna be a little easier. We're gonna do a super set and not a tri set. I'm gonna do the Smith Machine bench press. Uh, my chest is already exhausted. I'm not gonna use really heavy weight. And then I'm gonna go directly onto dumbbell rows. A, a bench press to a row. Let's go. Smith Machine is great because unlike the barbell, you can really just concentrate on the groove of squeezing at the top, getting a full contraction. Drive it up, Rich. Drive it up. Going on to dumbbell rows. This is a great exercise for the mid-back. Also stretches out the lats. I love this exercise because then with the dumbbells, you can actually move it around to where you can squeeze the muscles right in the central part of your back. Those are two major exercises uh, for mass. This time, I'm gonna do a superset with two chest exercises and one back exercise. So it's a little different. I'm gonna isolate the chest with a pec deck, go onto a bench press machine, then onto a back machine. And it really hits the muscle hard. So let's get started. Now what I'm doing is I'm isolating the pec. We're pre-exhausting the pecs. Instead of your arms giving out, your chest is gonna give out. Onto a pressing movement. Real slow, intentional movement. Okay, we isolated the chest. Now we're going directly into back training. This is, again, a machine. Uh, seated row and squeezing the back the whole time. Full contraction, full extension. That concludes the workout for chest and back, and it's not for the faint of heart. As you can see, we did push-pull, we did some triceps, we did some supersets. We didn't go really, really heavy, but we isolated the movements, contracted the muscle, extended the muscle. So we worked the muscle, went very, very quickly, and we did at least three to four sets, and we're up to five sets per superset or triset. That workout is not easy, and it's not for the faint of heart. So if you like to have a challenge, give it a try. Flex did, and he loved it. Okay.